Hi guys. Check this weather. Beautiful. It's Friday afternoon and in fact it's not even Friday afternoon, it's Friday morning. I've not had a coffee yet and you'll see why or what I'm doing. Helen's already here. Um, but this is a good weekend, it's a good start for the weekend. Uh, and as you'll see, I'll let Helen do the talking. Say hello Dad. Hello, Hi Dad. Bob. This is... Uh, hello. hello! It's hello. Wednesday the 10th of March and this is Mining Garrett's new business venture. It's an absolute dump. Say hello! Hello! The bar that was formerly known Welcome as Casa Ventura yeah, is now called like Oasis San Luis. Yes! Come on in! Hi Bob! Hi Bob! Good morning everybody. Good morning everybody. That's the Ponto. So it's, uh, it's got a huge terrace. Restaurant. It does bowling, which actually up until today because we've been looking to do this for 18 months people were bowling in there up until this morning even though the place is in an absolute state yeah we'll be changing the name it's going to be the oasis the pool leaks like a sieve it, this used to be the place to come it used to be absolutely beautiful but it's it's just it's actually it's criminal what they've done what they've let happen to this place yeah it's disgusting yeah so this, I mean, it's a huge pool. I think we'll have to just budge it for this year so it's usable and then get a new pool put in after the season's ended. But look at the state of it. Eventually, after turf all this and we're going to have um, some lounges, we might put some tank courses at the back when all those bushes are ripped out. And then that roof up there, we're going to put a flat roof on and have a chill out cocktail lounge up there. It's going to be nice when it's done. So this will be a function room where we'll have a stage. I mean, there is a bit of a stage there, but look at the state of it. But we'll have um, live acts on in here and then those windows will go and we'll extend a terrace out from here and have glass curtains or something so it opens it to outside. And we've got a gym. That's actually a big gym. And though actually those are new mirrors that are on that wall. And this is the main, what will be the main restaurant. I mean you can fit a fair few covers in here. Yeah. All this needs to go. And then the bar. The kitchen's a decent size, isn't it? It's very dirty. I won't like to think. I won't like to think I'd had anything to eat here recently. But that—that's it's, it's a good-sized kitchen, isn't it? Yeah, and the fryers are here. Yeah. The grill, the cooker, oven, and the bowls there again. We, we won Hi guys, the last it's week. Friday. We're at the bar. I need another coffee. Me on, that got me on this screen mirror. because first things first. We won the lottery last Hi, week. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Hello, Bob. Hi, Hi Pam. Hello, oh, yeah. Ellen's there. Look. Hello. Now we've just been live probably what an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah, about an hour ago. Thanks to everybody that um, that joined us. I'm actually amazed that anybody did join us. Yeah. <laughs> Who surprised they are to me? So yeah, the, the cats out. Us. The cats now out of the bag. Helen and Gareth's uh, new little venture. Little? <laughs> I'm crapping myself. But it's a good thing. I mean, it's, as from the videos that you'll see that Helen recorded earlier this week, there's a lot of prep gone into this. Well, what I didn't say on the live bit is that we've been doing, we've been trying to sort this out for 18 months now. That's right. Yeah, we, we actually, on the video, yeah. we actually put a deposit. I mean, I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. We put a deposit down on this property 18 months ago. <clears throat> And it's taken us this length of time to get to the point that we are now. 
Yes. Too late now, no matter what you say, we own it, so they can't. You own it, they yeah, get the keys. So, oh, right, well, that's, yeah. I mean so anyway, in this time, in this, in this current <laughs> climate, it's good that people are trying to set something new up, set, it's and well, establish it's, it's something either, else. It's either good or absolutely crazy. crazy that you're trying to cover something. I know they haven't won the lottery. We're going for the good part. We're going for good enthusiasm, positive thoughts. You might actually see a lot more of Gareth on these vlogs from now on because we're going to be doing um, a progress so far, sort of. Um, You'll notice, actually, it's the first time this week that he's actually worn his company shirt. Yeah, but look how he's got his own button there. I thought I was yeah. laying in the sun. Yeah. You know, he just needs a medallion there. I thought I was laying in the sun like that. <laughs> Innocent. Demi Sousos forever if you, if you and ever see, and ever. If you see me on the blogs, I won't say I know the shit, I'm mostly be covered in shit from working. But it won't take us long, we'll get it reformed and you'll have a fantastic time. Yeah, you all need to come and see us. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. What we might do is if we do a work weekend, yeah. where like I used to do paint weekends, where I used to be paint, covered, paint my house and I used to put the burgers and the beer on. Yeah. So we'll get loads of people coming in to help us clear everything up. And then two o'clock stop and open have a drink and a couple of burgers. That would be a good idea. Yeah, Andy's on about paellas. Well, you could do a well, paella. I'm out of people that want to try the paellas. I mean, I can knock them up with you as well. It's free food yeah. if you come and help us clear up yeah. and do a bit of bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah that sounds like yeah. a good idea. Great yeah. idea. There you go. It's a big plot. <laughs> means you mean to be out here soon fed. rather than later. Early <laughs> start, yeah. two o'clock lunch, a couple of drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Morning. Yesterday we went live on Facebook. <clears throat> Not quite a first, I think we did it New Year's Eve, but basically it was a first. Well, uh, I did it once when it comes in the lighting, just to show the weather. It couldn't really see anything, so it was dark and dark. Yeah. Uh, but basically, hello to everybody that's new to the YouTube channel and also that's new to Facebook as well. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you will have seen the announcement yesterday. Part of the things that they, the guys are now going to have to start doing is because they want to get it right first time, Yesterday there should have been a meeting uh, with a representative from a company that does coffee but it was also supposed to bring samples. They got a coffee, no coffee machine. So the guys then had to go to a, a bar up near Lasagna, they tried the coffee and it was like, yeah it's okay. Bob's had some beans, he's just ground the beans. I'll we'll just try the coffee and in that instance it's a uh, no. Because it's got, to, it's got to be bang on and right first time. The, the guys don't want to be messing about second best in things and things like that and coffee is actually quite important because a lot of people drink coffee out here in spain even the kids the teenagers and that lot they will go to a cafe and that lot and drink coffee whereas in britain the kids will go to a bar and get hammered if anybody's got any comments or questions stick them in the bottom below send them through facebook or on the description i'll put the email address you can send us the email address and we'll try and cover it in a future vlog it's saturday I don't know what time it is. It's um, about quarter to one, I think. It's I don't like know if you can hear us because I've not got microphones. And I've we've got, got masks on as well. Yeah. Because they're having air us. They're doing loads of work. Yeah, I don't... Front of it. And to Carrefour as well. Carrefour car park's also blocked off. But I'm not sure what they're doing. Obviously, I'll tell you, you know what would be good here? If they had like a little market Well, I don't know. Type. We're obviously getting ready for them lot coming out to visit in May. Yeah. Get your flights booked. We'll, uh, we'll get some footage in here, see how busy it is. So, Saturday afternoon used to be rammed. If it's still open, we're just on our way up to Holland and Barrett's. Yeah, to that's see a... if we can get some sugar, uh, some sugar substitute for when I'm I'm going to make some lemonade. That's mega bucks. Holland and Barrett over here is mega bucks. You don't tend to get the one penny deals and stuff like that, I don't think. I could but be they, wrong though. But they do have the sugar substitute, so that's good. Yeah. Hang on a minute. I'll give you an idea. So. This is how things are affected. Big shop down there, closed. Um, I think a lot of the food shops, are, a lot of the food places are closed. Which up on the top deck. You've got Starbucks, obviously. Aki is closed, but that's closed because they're converting it into a Leroy Merlin. Yeah, Leroy Merlin have bought Aki out. Well, so, same company for a little bit, but yeah. uh, behind us here, another shop closed. That used to be Swarovski. Um, I seem to think there's another one round, and then there's some upstairs as well. Some of the shops upstairs, the food, where the food courts is, have closed as well. I don't come to this end very often, but there, there used to be a kiosk, and there used to be a kiosk there. Both of them did food and coffees and stuff. That's a bit nuts. That. Well, the, the one, the one just over here, 
they used to do really nice sandwiches and things Pizzas as well. And, all that. and that one's where we used to get coffee from yeah. before under Montaditos. Terraces have been able to open for the last almost two weeks. What surprises is under Montaditos hasn't opened. Where's that now? Oh, it's here. It's there, but it's not yeah. been open. Yeah. And there's another shop on the other side that's closed. You'd think 100 months details would open because they've not even got an indoor down there. No, it's just it's it's purely the terrace, yeah. so. And from Monday, uh, Terry's restaurants are allowed to open at 100% capacity, and they're also allowed to open their indoor capacity now at 30%, so that's all good news for the area. Yeah. So, gradual, gradual, gradual ease. They're not going to ease anything much more than that now until after Easter, I don't think. They're not opening the perimeters so that people from other um, communities can't get here because it's breaking the law. And they've done that on purpose because at Easter people tend to move about and they don't want that to happen. If you that have seen that there's an Ikea nearby in Torrevieca, that's it there. But all it is really is a kitchen design show and you cannot buy stuff in there or get stuff delivered to it, or you couldn't. Today's Madison's birthday. And that's tomorrow, isn't it? Oh no, tomorrow's Madison's birthday, but she's not with us tomorrow because she's with her dad and her grandma and her granddad. So she's having her birthday meal here with us today. She's requested ribs and wings with buffalo sauce and a cheesecake. So I'm just making a cheesecake now because I need to get it set really quickly. She wanted, originally she wanted white chocolate and Baileys, but I've got no Baileys. So I said I'd do her a chocolate orange one. Believe it or not, nowhere here in Spain is selling a chocolate orange because it's not Christmas. I didn't realise it were a Christmas sweet. But anyway, so she's wrapping chocolate orange now. So it's going to be a milk chocolate and a white chocolate and Oreo cheesecake, but she didn't know. She wanted a biscuit base, so I'm just making the base now. I'm just melting some butter in the microwave to mix into it. For those of you that have not seen me making cheesecake before, this is a very specialised tool that you need when making cheesecake and it's called a biscuit base presser and it works a treat. I've already told Gordon Ramsay about it but he never got back to me. So what's in there? So it's just really cheap cream cheese, there's two tubs which is um, Merkel on his own cream cheese, they're a euro a tub and some condensed milk. It's like a cheats cheesecake, it's not a baked cheesecake. You don't put eggs in it or anything. Then you whisk all that up when it looks really runny, which it is. But then if you melt the chocolate and mix the chocolate in as well, when the chocolate solidifies again, it hardens the cheesecake up so that you can cut it into slices. And I'm gonna split this into two and do half of it with the milk chocolate and half of it with the white chocolate and um, Oreo. So this is the milk chocolate one and I've decided because it's setting quickly, I'm not gonna do it because I still need to do the other flavour so I'm going to do it in layers anyway instead it's going to be a layered cheesecake so chocolate, milk chocolate and then white chocolate and Oreo and then grated chocolate on top of it so it should be nice look at all that gooey goodness oh no I've put it all down my top typical my family won't be surprised at that, I'm afraid. It's actually a family trait, getting food all over your clothes. So this looks a bit like frog spawn or something. It's not very tasty, does it? But it is lovely. It's like chocolate with Oreo biscuit mixed into it. So, I've not said so for a long time. I shall I sing. I'm not going to sing, don't worry. If you're kissing him, he loves him. I'm going to make some um, buffalo sauce. And really, all I do is throw anything tomatoey, chili ish, and vinegar ish together, and it makes a buffalo sauce. So, we're starting off with ketchup. So, a good squirt. If Madison wants buffalo sauce, that's why I'm doing it. But we're having chicken wings, so. We should have buffalo sauce. Um, I just want to get the rest of that vinegar up because it's nearly empty anyway. Some brava picante, which is like a tomatoey spicy sauce from Spain. So when you when you go to the uh, bars and restaurants, sometimes you get patatas bravas. 
and they've got that on them. Yeah. And sometimes a bit of uh, Ali Ali as well. That, a little bit of that one, it's not too hot. But it all adds to flavour. They've all got different flavours. The hot one that I'm going to put in is the habanero. So that's, um, you'll see how thick it is. It's, I think it's pure habanero chilies. That's going to be spicy. And then some of that that Andy says is hot. But he says it's quite vinegary. But what's its sauce? Uh, buffalo sauce should be a bit vinegary. And then some onion powder. You'll notice I never measure anything out. I just I'm just it literally in. just thinking that as well. And some paprika to make it a little bit smoky. And then we'll heat it up. And that'll be it done. If it's not 100% right, I'll add a little bit, I'll add some other bits to it. Or a bit more of the spice or whatever. But that should, I think that should be all right. I forgot it needs a little bit of honey in it as well. So I've just added a little bit of honey. And I'm just adding a little taste. That's really spicy. Yeah, let me add that. My hands are clean, I'm prepping food. Don't you think it's really spicy? You've done auto. Yes. I think she's done it hotter though. Spicy. It's not massively spicy, is it? Do you want it? any spicier? I thought it was quite spicy, but... It is spicy. I thought it was spicy. How long have they been in the oven for? They've been in the oven for about two hours, I think, but only on really low. What, about 150? 160, I've had them on. Um, we've mentioned this stuff before. In fact, I know, I think it's Adrian said that he's been and bought some since we missed them, they quite like it. Madison's never tried that, and it was a case of do you want Helen's normal ribs, which is like in a. Like a honey Chinese sort of glaze, isn't it? Yeah. Or salt and pepper. She said salt and pepper. But. So I'm going to lay them all out in rows now and put a bit of salt and pepper on them as I go along. So there they are. I'm ready for back in. There. In that one, we've got flour, paprika, salt, pepper, and onion powder. And in that one, I've just got eggs and milk. So I'm going to dip them in the flour, dip them in the eggs and milk, dip them back in the flour, fry them. The wings we get from Carry for are part prepped. Well, they're not prepped at all when you buy them, but if you say to them that you want them to prep them for you, they will do. So I always tell them to cut it at the joint and that I don't want the tip of the wing. And that's what they do for me. I just thought we're going to be slightly off the diet tonight, aren't we? Uh, just a bit. Well, if you're planning on having that cheesecake, definitely. Well, I wasn't going to. I was going to avoid it, but... It does taste good. Uh, yeah. Now, the plan is, tomorrow is Mother's Day. Mother's Day in Spain is on a different day. But, um, tomorrow, Helen, Bob, Maddie and me are going out. We've booked somewhere, so we'll... If it turns out all right, we've no idea what we're getting. We know where we're going. If it turns out all right, out all right, we'll do that as a separate uh, restaurant review because we've not yeah. done one for a while. Francesca's not coming with us because it's Madison's actual birthday tomorrow and she's going out for a meal with Francesca and, uh, with, sorry, with Madison and her dad and her grandma and granddad. So that's fine. And then hopefully, in my birthday in a few weeks, isn't it? Yeah. So hopefully... And it's 50. He'll be catching up with me. Yeah. We didn't really go out for Helen's birthday, so we, we didn't do anything for my, We didn't do anything for my birthday. Oh, we had a meal in. It was that day that they actually shut everything down again, weren't it? Yeah. The actual day of my birthday. But we have plans for the weekend after. The weekend after? Well, it might be two weeks after, actually. Well, after your birthday? Yeah. Fourth of April, I think she yeah. said. Let me... Uh, we know where we want to go. We've been before. Um, if you look, I think it might even have been our first weekend vlog that we ever did. I don't know, but it is on there, definitely. Yeah, um, we did Los Alcáceres, um, and we ended up that weekend in Campo Verde. 
and we went to see a band called The Cages. We'd never seen them before. I'd heard a lot about them. Um, hi Yasmin, hi Scott. Hi, and Millie. Millie. Um, now Millie's a vlogger in her own right. Uh, Millie Moments, I think it is. And Yasmin and Scott also do vlogs. They cover me, or they have covered a lot in the past Disney. Um, they're based out here. And they're called The Stranger Couple. The plan is we're going to go to the pizzeria. I think it's called Pizzeria 2. For a meal there. And we think they're going to be playing again as well. Well, we, not, are, we are if they're open. If they're open, yeah. Uh, because we want to do a proper dining review of that. and. The food there was absolutely yeah. stunning, actually. It's probably the nicest pasta I've ever had. Bar none, even when we've been to Italy. It, the pasta were fantastic, weren't it? Yeah, they did, a, they did a, a special menu for two, which we had, and it was four different types of pasta, four different flavours. Fantastic. So hopefully, we'll be doing that. Right, so, oh. I've got to sing in a minute. Just keep saying so. Oh, again. I won't, though. I'm just looking on Facebook on my history. A year ago today, we were in the Grand Channel. This is literally a point in there, we've got this history of really and more of this on it. Next door to our office. Next door to the office. And it was a game to, we basically did instructions, nine, was it nine o'clock or midnight? Yeah. Wash, close, end on. We knew that day it was going to happen. The next day, which was a Saturday, wasn't yeah. it? But basically when they just went Madrid, the whole lot gone. And they just closed everything. Well, like no, no, the Saturday, we managed to go shopping on the Saturday and stock up. Yes. But the supermarkets were absolutely crazy, as they were in the UK as well, and the shelves were what empty. Am I, is, I'm like, uh, keep an eye on the, uh, on the website, t.go.com, because I'll share a few bits and pieces, so I will put the photo, I've got a photo, I've seen a photo on my phone from the supermarket, it just shows it was completely decimated. And, and, this is before we had to wear masks as well. And, and actually, Gareth were in Wales and we rang him up on Friday. Yeah. He were bringing a, his mum's car back over here. With his mum. And we, we rang him on Friday morning and said, he, he Gareth... Had to go for personal reasons as well. Yeah. I said, you need to get back because I think we're going to go into lockdown. And he actually got him and his mum in the car and drove from Wales back All here. Way through France. They, they got here on the Saturday Sunday morning. Night. No, Saturday morning. We saw him in... Mercadona on Saturday morning, if you remember. So, Friday morning, so basically, we've done it in just over 24 yeah. hours, I think we've done it. Yeah. Which, which, non stop, you can do it. I've driven to, to France with Gareth and we are going to be doing it in 24 hours. And Gareth, it's a bit like di driving Miss Daisy. He doesn't drive fast, does he? Can't Is it? No, he's good. a bit of a steady driver. And then, uh, what was your thing? Five years ago today, we were doing a place of a supply in Manchester and we were staying. In Oldham. Now, in Oldham, there is possibly these two kebab places that we rent, that we will go to, that do mixed kebabs that are fantastic. One of them is a place called Top Cat Kebab in Worksop. A lot of people might disagree with that, but actually, when you get their mixed kebab, it's about 15, 16 quid. But it's enough to feed four people for two days. Oh, without a doubt, it's huge. It's huge, absolutely huge. And then the other one is Star Kebab in Oldham. That place is fantastic. I think that's the best out of a lot of well, them. The Star, Star yeah. Kebab. And we went in there. I'm focusing on the chins. We went in there, and there were coppers in there, and we were like. Is this going to be any good? And actually, the coppers were in there because they know a good thing when they see Well, it. what they've actually got, they've got a pit dug out in the, inside the, the shop and it's got a fire in the bottom and they put the, oh, the, a, yeah. they put the meat on the kebabs and actually put it down into the pit in, the, it's in the fire. You've never seen them before? No. The, that, the, yeah, the, uh, it was fantastic. Indian, do, Indian restaurants do it as well. Good Indian restaurants will do it for the naan. So what they'll do is they'll create the naan. Yeah, and stick it outside. Stick it yeah, outside. I've seen that. You just need to go and quickly go and show them what kids are doing. Oh, they'll kill yeah. us. They'll kill us. Oh, yeah. This is this they is have a got Nintendo. Yeah, this uh, th no, they've not got Nintendo. She's yes, yes. oh, she's got a Switch, yeah, but she's also got PlayStation and everything else. But they don't play it in the bedroom on the 
40 inch TV that she's got. No. But this, is, this has been a usual Saturday evening in my house for probably about 10 years. Now here's the thing, what I can do, if the kids are listening, I've got video of the kids doing this about 10 years ago. No, it, it won't be quite as long as that, it might be about 7 or 8 years ago. Yes, But Correct. Yeah, and it might, might, even have, it up. might even have video of me doing it. Do you want me to put that in? No. <laughs> I don't. Maybe that when I was coming across as a to living here. So they've been... Well, we've said what they've got on they've them. They've been fried. Yeah. And then they'll go in the oven. Well, I'll need to keep them warm, really, the, until everything else is ready. Okay. I inadvertently messed about with the volume control on my microphone. Hopefully I've sorted it. Apologies for the... Crap, vol crap. Sound. Yeah, on that last little bit. Fingers crossed I've sorted it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. <laughs> it's a dual layer cheesecake. It tastes delicious. I've just licked a bit off a spoon. So we're at a restaurant Hunter Prima today to celebrate Mother's Day. There's my dad and Andy. And actually, it's not Mother's Day here in Spain. And, and most other countries sell it. There's but Maddie. Francesca's not with us because it's also Madison's birthday. She's going out with Madison today. It's an absolutely glorious day. This weather's just perfect for sitting outside, isn't it? So we've, we've ordered. Andy's gone to get a little bit of video because it's a paddleboard we're out to see. You can see La Manga Strip and the Marmino from here. We've made our order. We've ordered um, a prawn salad and um, uh, something called a revuelto to start with to share between us in the middle of the table. Now revuelto is like a scrambled egg and it's got little baby garlics in it, mushrooms and prawns. And then uh, my dad, Maddie and myself, are got, uh, we've gone for the mixed paella. So it's a shellfish paella with some chicken and some pork in it. And he's gone for duck breast. So we'll show you what that's like when it arrives. We're absolutely stuffed. In fact, we've all left loads. I but we're talking about ordering puddings. Oh my god. I know a lot of people don't like it, but that were creamy and lovely. All go. So today's Monday and uh, we're still uh, cleaning up. Lots of work happening. Try not to get too wet. So where are we at, Gareth? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so this is our first day of the, the main construction. Bye bye, trees. Yeah, the trees are all going to go. Only temporarily, once they're all gone, then they'll all be going to be replaced with tropical palm trees and, and nice and banana trees and proper Caribbean style. Um, it'll still give a lot of shade, so uh, that'll be good. And this is it. Tomorrow we start with the pool as well. But all the trees have to go because it's just, it's just too much damage for the pool, unfortunately. But um, yeah, really exciting. Now, repairs for the pool tomorrow. By the next 10 days, we should have this next section ready to concrete all everything. AstroTurf, ready for some beds. So we should be open middle of May. Sweet. I don't, the, I don't think the water will be warm enough by then. <laughs> yeah, well, not for the locals, but... Yeah, the Swedes, they'll love it. They'll yeah, be well, we'll be ready for when everybody can start to fly out, hopefully. When you from... can all fly out, come and see us, and you'll have a fantastic time here. A couple of drinks, a couple of beers. And let's swim in the pool. Hope to see you all soon. One activity that's uh, popular here and is going to stay and potentially going to be extended is the bowls. Even though it's under new ownership, there will be a lot of changes. This is not one of the planned ones. It's going to stay. So if any of you are worried, no need to. So that's about it for us for this week or this weekend um quite a bit to do with casa ventura obviously uh, we'll look we may split those out separately not quite sure yet in the future anyway we've also been to restaurant punta prima we'll do that as a separate video which you'll be able to see um check everything like i said in the description for links etc uh also on the website t.co.com thanks for the comments thanks for the likes uh thanks for the support basically hope you've all had a good weekend uh weather's been glorious hopefully that's helped lift you guys spirits up a little bit shall we say 
and uh, we'll be back again next weekend. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell. Hasta pronto.